he I, I thought I'd make a video showing what I first do when I wake up in the morning of course the morning is like 39 degrees and real windy I'm still in my sleeping bag let me try to set my phone up First thing I do is get up and get my coat on I've been using for a pillow. Of course, I am one one ugly guy when I ain't brushed my hair, and I don't know how my arm got soaking wet. How did my coat get soaking wet? Hmm. Uh, anyway, yeah. brush out the rat in there. I'll show my camp when I get my boots on. This will be a good before and after. my coat got soaking wet it's just the hand the uh, sleeve is wet now I get my boots on next that way I can stand up man I knew I should have brought that rabbit fur you I got it up in Alaska uh, it was like three hundred and eight dollars but I got it for like 80 something. It's uh, for Rondi in Anchorage. Uh, I wish I had somebody here to help film. Yeah, I'll show you where I slept last night and all. I'm about ready to stand up. I gotta tuck my laces in each boot. Got one boot on. Yeah, I met Hopper Jackson and his old lady last night man I I just can't be around drinking uh, I thought it wasn't gonna really bother me but uh, it did and they drink pretty heavy and just I'm so keen on alcohol now that when I smell it, when somebody exhales, I can tell if somebody's had even a half beer, but you know how it smells when somebody's been really heavy drinking? That is a, I just can't stand that smell. I may, I'd make a good cop it, uh, for a DUI. <laughs> oh, I almost got my second boot on. Now I get my third boot. Uh, where's my glasses? Hell, I need my glasses to find my glasses. Got them. I'm fixing to stand up. Oh, it hurts so bad. I don't know what I did to my arm. Uh, yeah, I'm right off BNSF line here. Yes, uh, I told uh, Hopper Jackson and his girlfriend that you no, know, I had a good time and all, but. There's an old line used to go back in here to an industry. I'm not sure what it was. But I thought there was an old abandoned shack right in here. Cause I've camped back here before, and these canned goods right here are actually mine. I left three or four years ago. No labels on them. I don't even know what they are. That's probably Campbell's Chunky. 
I got tired of carrying that extra stuff and just pitched it. But got everything laid out. There's a waterproof bivy on that. Wish my coat had a waterproof bivy. Uh, yeah, I was gonna show you what I carry. I always lay out my machete and knife at night next to me. There's my two battery packs. Had to get some of that for bug bites. I'm real allergic to bug bites. There's my mossy oak. Of course, that don't do me no good in the sheath if somebody walked up. Yeah, let's see if I can do my camera uh, while I roll up. Boy, it is windier than a biatch today. Uh, I guess that's facing. Hang on, bear with me. Make sure it's still recording. Yeah. Can't sleep with my belt tighten. That'd be bad. Have to get up at night and spin for myself and have have something hanging out. Pants fall down. Yeah, I got one of these camp pillows. I will take my bedroll and hang it upside down and. Jiggle all the stuff out of it. <clears throat> but first, I don't roll it up or anything, just cram it. It fits better this way. I've packed this way 31 years, and people, these new kids try to tell me, oh, shoestring, you ought to roll up different. I know a better way. I'm like, no, you don't. You absolutely do not know a better way than me. Yeah, I met Alex. Last night, uh, I wasn't responding to my messages on YouTube in that last video I made at the Metropad. And he wanted to come down and uh, bring me a blanket and some stuff. And we had just decided to go sleep in that railroad car and made a move. And Alex was under the bridge. He said he had been trying to, he'd been yelling out, shoestring, shoestring, where you at? Of course, my ears, I didn't hear. Yeah, here's that blanket, Alex. Yeah, this thing, I don't know how it got wet. Yeah, I may have turned over that uh, water bottle. But it's already, the sleeves already warmed up. So, let's see. So it don't feel so wet now. It's just that first getting up part and getting out in the chill. But I'm already warm. Yeah, I'm a little short on water. And I chew. I'm a, that's my last can. And I still didn't get that dang stimulus. I'm starting to get worried that the maybe going to send that out uh, paper check and if it is it, it I hadn't changed my address with social security yet Ugh. yeah that is sharp I really don't like it like I like the Gerber one too much plastic got a little extra knife there but I don't ever use it 
but in case I gotta get on Metro or be around the bull, I'm gonna put it inside my pack. Usually I put it inside the roll on my mat. And go draw this up. Yeah, I'll get to walking here. It's a little brisk. I like cold weather though. Yeah, things kind of came unpacked pretty. Uh, last night I was so tired. Slept about eight hours. My different railroad patches. Man, I am strung out all over the place. There's my one bad. Yeah, I plugged this in last night. My phone, it, it's fully charged, but. I plugged my phone in and my phone went up 2% and then it died. I'm still going to hang on to it and in case it's maybe just the weather. Well, that wind is brisk. I'm stuck here trying to get this. I'll worry about that later. See how long this is what I hate roll out, rolling out. You roll out, then your train comes, you're you're left doing this. And you're like, shit, wasting valuable time. You could be looking for a car and walking down the drain. But no. Okay, I can kind of relax. Let me turn the. Oh, I don't know how far if I'm in this or not. I'll know when I make the video, upload the video. I've already eaten me a couple of bananas, but I carry bananas too. All right, and then I separate my mat and I get it off because it froze up second I get my turn because it was leaking yeah it's soaking wet too oh, I hope no one got up and peed on me last night and said oh that'll learn that guy but for those that don't know look up the difference between a bum a hobo and a tramp A friend of mine's ex-husband likes calling me bum, but that just shows how illiterate he is. I like illiterate people in that way, because they think they're smarter than you. In the first five minutes you're talking to them, yeah, I'm rolling this up, you know right away whether their IQ is above 80 or not. That's how I evaluate a person when I ride, get ready to ride with them if I've never met them. Like, Hopper Jackson and his old lady. Uh, uh, it rolled up good. I got this at like, uh, I'm trying to remember where our tractor supply. I think. And that's usually where I get all my clothes at. All my car hurts. See how long it takes to roll everything up. I'm going to take my flags if I'm not going to use them. Have them out. If I'm catching a train, I don't want to have them flags hanging off. Because they'll catch on something and break. But I can find them flags at dollar stores sometimes. But Walmart used to carry them, but they've become less patriotic than any place. And this COVID-19 now, all the mom and pop stores aren't, no one's spending money at them. It's just that 
Walmart and Chinese and stores and stuff. Alright, this goes in first. And I do it in a way that if I get rained on, the water didn't get in the roll. I don't know if that made sense. But I'll show you the way, what I mean when I get it rolled in. Got that, now this. See the way I have the lip on the bottom and then facing this way, that way if it rains, it, it's not like this and goes down that crack. Yeah, I got wet. It's not, it's not pee. Alright, get along real good here. Yep, that's what I hate about rolling out with a molly. Now, for 25 years, I used the Army duffel bag. Because when the train comes, you just throw everything into that thing. Latch up the top, and you are gone. See, my dang train would have been in Africa by now if I was waiting on one or rolling up for one. Yeah, that battery pack thing is really peeing me off. Oh. Yeah, I also take my medication for that morning I already did that before I started this video yeah I'll show you my pack a little bit better should have actually had it this way first now I'll pour some well, I can't with that water. Usually I pour water over my beard and brush it out. But I'm hoping that Metro Depot has the little bathroom open. Almost ready to rock and roll. hate if this camera wasn't going sometimes it just quits after about 15 minutes yeah hopper norton or i mean uh jackson hopper jackson and his old lady i don't know where they got they got this for a, for a gift for me i'll give it a shot see if it helps and you know i've had better luck with these cheap Walmart gloves and any other glove you got to realize that when You have a glove that no matter how much you spend on it how nice they are If they're too tight on your fingers It's going to cut the circulation off to your fingers. You don't want that your hands are going to end up colder wearing expensive gloves than those Yeah, I keep my medications in there Oh, I forgot I had. Yep, that's the only thing I drink nowadays. I, I quit drinking four years, eight months ago. Here's my. <clears throat> Gerber. Multi tool. Trying to do this with two fingers, but. Yeah, anybody knows what one of them them is. Yeah, I first discovered this little place about two, three years ago. I remember the thorns. It took me forever to hack my way in here last night. It really growed up. You know, they're not running near as many Metra since this COVID thing. Now this, that garage door there, 
it opens up and they push two box cars in there for loading. I'd never seen that before anywhere. I was hiding in them bushes about 3 a.m. My first time here walking into Eola. And the local, he, he pulled his train up here on that far left track, broke off the box car and pushed it back. Then he seen me. He goes, you ain't waiting to kill yourself, are you? I said, excuse me? He goes, you ain't waiting to use my train in suicide, are you? And I said, why the hell would you ask me that? Uh, he had told me a story about some guy was depressed and decided to walk out in front of his train and end it. I'm like, dude, no way. I see where somebody's fixed that fence. Yeah, maybe. He doesn't see who owns this. But you can tell there ain't been a train back. They just broke the rail off right at where it went in. I'll have to look on Google Maps and see what used to go in there. Or maybe that little shanty was here. I don't know. But it's right under a cedar tree. Yeah, I kept, I didn't sleep that well knowing somebody could have walked through there behind, up on me. Because I always face the most uh, traveled place that somebody might can sneak in on you. But I'll wrap this video up and upload it and see how it comes out. So uh, I've got a couple of videos that I made with Hopper Jackson. I may or may not upload that. Uh, Anyway, I'll get off here. Oh, another thing. If I don't answer your reply right away, it's not because I'm ignoring anyone. It's just now that I've started telling these stories, my views have really gone up in comments. But go ahead and leave a comment. I'll get to it.